Welcome to Faith and Wellness. And together we continue with our nine-day novena in preparation for the Feast of the Divine Mercy. Uh, this day is so important that for, to, uh, for tomorrow, which will be the Feast Day of the Divine Mercy, to be in a state of grace, to have gone to confession, go to Mass, receive the Eucharist, and also, um, you know, you can offer this, this novena for someone, for someone that might be in the purgatory, or also you can offer it for yourself and all your sins will be forgiven, or you can also offer this novena for one of your children, like a wayward son or daughter, this would be a good novena to offer so that God can have mercy on your child or your husband or brother or sister. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you who he wants you to offer this novena to. So together we begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The ninth day. Today bring me bring to me souls who have become lukewarm and immerse them in the abyss of my mercy. These souls wound my heart most painfully. My soul suffer the most dreadful loathing in the Garden of Olives because of lukewarm souls. They were the reason I cried out, Father, take this cup away from me if it will if it be your will. For them the last hope of salvation is to run to my mercy. Most compassionate Jesus, you are compassionate self. I bring lukewarm souls into the abode of your most compassionate heart. In this fire of your pure love, let these tepid souls who live like corpuses fill you with such a deep loathing be once again set aflame. O oh, most compassionate Jesus, exercise the omnipotence of your mercy and draw them into the very ardor of your love and bestow upon them the gift of holy love for nothing is beyond your power. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the warm souls who are nonetheless unfolded in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. Father of mercy, I beg you by the bitter passion of your son and by his three-hour agony on the cross, let them too glorify the abyss of your mercy. Amen. To understand who are the souls designated for this day and who in the diary are called lukewarm, but are also compared to eyes and to corpuses, we would do well to take note of the definition that the Savior himself gave to them when speaking to St. Faustina about them on one occasion. There are souls who thwart my efforts, souls without love or devotion, souls full of egoism and selfishness, proud, arrogant souls, Full of deceit and hypocrisy. Lukewarm souls who have just enough warmth to keep themselves alive. My heart cannot bear this. All the graces that I pour out upon them flow off them as off the face of a rock. I cannot stand them because they are neither good nor bad. So Jesus, I trust in you. Have mercy on all of those souls and especially in the souls of our family members that are in that situation and it's very painful to see them. We offer those souls to you, Jesus. Opening prayer, the chaplet of divine mercy. You expire, Jesus. But the source of life gush forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy open up for the whole world, O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy. 
envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus' heart as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as the fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Congratulations, you finish, we finish the novena. The novena, the novena, which is typically nine days of prayer in preparation for a celebration of a feast day, which the feast day is going to be Divine Mercy Sunday. And at the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy, the Chaplain of the Divine Mercy Novena is recited perpetually at the hour of Great Mercy. And that's the three o'clock hour. The Chaplain can be said any time, but the Lord specifically asked that it be recited as a Novena nine days before the Divine Sunday. Um, he promised by this Novena, of chaplets, I will grant every possible grace to souls. And also, whenever you're going in through a difficult situation, pray this novena. Whenever you need the, the mercy of God with one of your family members, pray this novena. And thank you. Thank you for praying with me. And I hope that you have a blessed divine mercy Sunday. And also, I have the chaplet. If you would like to pray the chaplet every single day at 3 o'clock, you can just look for my for the video. It's in the um, uploads. So it's right there. You can pray it every single day as well. Thank you once again. And pray without ceasing. And may the Lord... 
grant you the graces, the favors that you need. And may he bless you and all those who you love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.